Hey yo, a new wit video means a new earnest video. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. I almost forgot what I say right there, hence the hesitation. But yo, like I said, we got new wit. Push your luck. I, the last song that I did by wit was Changes, which was about a month ago, it looks like, is when that song came out. I did it the day of, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been about a month since I've done a wit, since I've done a wit reaction and breakdown. And everything that wit's put out as of recent, I've been about. So hopefully, that's the same thing that we get right here. There's not really too much to say. It's new wit, you know, we just gotta jump on into it. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description below. And with Lori, push your luck. It's two hours ago, 20,000 views. So we're relatively early, I would say. Let's get it. Funny how it all goes down. Don't be sorry when it comes around. I'm like, oh my God, I think it's come on. Okay, first off, right out the gate, I hope that that right there is has as much reverb and has as much like airiness and kind of like it's way far away in like a in a cathedral. I hope it gets clearer than that because it's hard to understand what's being said right there. Just wanted to point that out. All right, let's go. Listen, the truth is, with you, I would never know what the truth is. I fell for all of your lies shit. You must have thought I was stupid. I oh, my God. He's already coming in, spitting the bars. The truth is that with you, I will never know what the truth is. Bro, that's wordplay right there that I fuck with. The truth is that with you, I'll never know what the truth is because I fall for all your lies every time. God damn it, with Coming out the gates hot. The truth is, with you, I would never know what the truth is. I fell mm. for all of your lies shit. You must have thought I was stupid. I trusted in you abusers, but time and you overused it. The glass of ginger and jack shit. You must have thought I was cupid. Excuses after excuse. Hold on, hold on. What do you say at the glasses of ginger and jack? Like ginger ale and jack? The glass of ginger and jack shit. You must have thought I was cupid. Excuses after excuses. You wanted me to feel useless. It takes a lot of truth to gain trust and one lot to lose it. I'll put you up over music. I'll flop. He said, he said, it takes a lot of truth to gain trust and one lie to lose it. Oh, he's spitting them back, son. Once the paper's crumbled up, it can't be perfect again. That's Mike Shinoda, Lincoln Park. I'm gonna need y'all to get with it. Takes a lot of truth to gain trust and one lie to lose it. I'll put you up over music. Our flaws will make us human, but the difference is you glorify yours instead of improving. Sometimes I remember back. I put you over music and flaws is what makes us human, but you glorify yours instead of working on improvement. God damn. The difference is you glorify yours instead of improving. Sometimes I remember back. You got your feet on the dash. Would have thought something so good could go so bad so fast. Would have thought that you would hurt me so much that I lose track. Who would have thought your lips and ass would be more real than how you act? And that's a fact. I never uh, said I was perfect. Uh, he said, he, yo, he said, who would have thought your lips and ass were more real than how you act? Because you act fake as fuck. Who would have thought your fake lip injections? Who, who would have thought your fake ass implants were more real than your personality is? God damn. Who would have thought your lips and ass would be more real than how you act? And that's a fact. I never said I was perfect. I never claimed it. But I think you can admit that my heart is where most of the pain went. Avoid all my favorite places I brought you to. Cause who would have thought that my heart is where most of the pain went? Never claimed that I was perfect. Yo, the one thing... It always sounds like Wit is running out of breath as he's like, as he's spitting. I wanted to have like a different delivery or maybe it's just like the mixing of the song. I feel like he's not loud enough on the track. Maybe that's just me though. I never said I was perfect. I never claimed it, but I think you can admit that my heart is where most of the pain went. Avoid all my favorite places I brought you to because they're tainted. You cheat, loud, play games, and then blame it on being faded. It's funny how it all goes down. He said, I, the, all the places, my favorite places that I brought you to, I avoid because now they're tainted. Bro, yes, Wit, you're just spitting them fucking facts, son. The shit is just tainted now. Like, everything that I loved about this place is now tainted with your memory, so now I can never go back there because now I can never remember what it was before you. And I'm pissed at you for that because I let you in to some of my favorite spots and you graffitied all over the walls of my favorite places and all over the walls of my memories. Psh. 
And then he said you cheat and you lie and you play games and then you just blame it all on being faded. Like, nah, I just said this on the last video that I did, the, the Weekend Remix with Doja Cat. Alcohol doesn't make you do things that you didn't want to do. Alcohol just lowers your barriers and makes you do things that you did want to do, but you were too afraid of hurting or too afraid to be embarrassed. Alcohol just brings out the real person. Games that I'm blaming on being faded is funny how it all goes down. Don't be sorry when it comes around. I'm like, oh my God, I think it's karma. All right, all right. I can hear it now. He says, funny how it all goes down. Don't be sad when it comes back around. I'm gonna be like, oh my God, it's karma. Karma creeping back up on you like it always does. You can't be sorry when karma catches up to you because you knew that it would one day. You were so happy gardening and planting them seeds. Now you don't want to reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start at the very beginning of that whole, of that whole hook. So them blaming on being faded is funny how it all goes down. Don't be sorry when it comes around. I'm like, oh my God, I think. That shit's fire. All right, now I like now I like the production. I think the production's fire on this part for sure. It just needed to be louder at the very beginning, but I get what they were doing. They were like they were building up the intro to wit, so I get it. But now I really like this part. Like, oh my god, I think it's karma. Ain't it funny how it all adds up when you're always trying to push your luck? I'm like, oh my god, I think it's karma. I was waiting for the beat drop, son, and like it like hesitated. Every time I thought it was gonna come in, it came in like four measures, four bars, like not four bars, four measures? No, not four measures, four beats. It came in four beats later than I thought it was. So I was like, oh, it's coming. Oh, no, no. Okay, here it is. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, damn, here it is. I like that shit when it catches me off guard. He said, ain't it all funny how it all adds up when you try to push your luck? You keep playing with that fire, you're eventually gonna get burned. I actually like this hook a lot, and especially after the beat drop, because it's not like your traditional, it's not just your traditional hip hop beat drop. It doesn't have the traditional 808 pattern. The song is fire so far. Like, listen to this right here. producer did yo the the producer did his fucking thing on this hook with all the different effects that it puts on the voice it had like that it had that airiness it had that like we're in an open room and then he like pitched it way up and it sounds like it's way in that falsetto even if it's still the same voice i really like the production of this track for sure because it's like not your traditional type of it's not your traditional type of single product this sounds like a deep cut on the album and i like deep cuts more than i normally like singles we're gonna go back to that beat drop that's where I thought it was the first time. And then right there the second time. production of this song is insane bro like oh with like that kind of edm electronic kind of feel like at its core but at, but also at its core you know it's a straight rap track yo I, i'm fucking with this big time and i like that he like gives it time to breathe wit hasn't come on for like a solid 45 seconds at this point Dad didn't make it, so you gave up on love and try to use that as a reason why you gave up on us. I can't uh, let you become the reason that I gave up on trust. You got uh, the soul inside your heart, you try to fill it with lust. You uh, your mentions. I can't let you be the reason why I gave up on trust. You got this hole inside your heart, you try to fill it with lust. Basically, everything that The Weeknd's music is about prior to this most recent album. And he said, your mom and dad didn't make it, so you try to pin that, you try to take that and say, that's why you gave up on love and that's why you gave up on us. That's bullshit. 
That's the same sentiment of Jid's song, Hereditary. It's a dope ass track. I guess it's hereditary, baby, cause your mama was a G and your daddy wasn't there, so you be trying to play with me, no. But, but that ain't the way. That song by Jid, fire ass track. My favorite song by him, for sure. You got this hole inside your heart, you try to fill it with lust. You give your mentions the attention that you never gave me. Who would have thought that when you broke me, you were setting me free? You tried to turn me into something that I never could be. But after watching what I would say, you would threaten to leave once again. So typical, never in my life. Hate that shit, bro. Hate like hate these bitches that just be like threatening leaving you just so that way you could change how you are. Bitch, if you're gonna fucking leave, leave. I ain't never switched up for nobody. You expect me to switch up for you? I'm A1 since day one, son. Same city, same friends if you're looking for me. And then he said, you give your mentions more attention than you gave me. Ooh. Once again, so typical. Never in my life did I meet someone so cynical. Would have never yeah. guessed the day we met would be our pinnacle. You're flipping like reciprocals. You harp with every syllable. Shit, loving you is difficult. Damn. He said you flipping like reciprocals. I would say that that was a bar, but J, but J. Cole said it like mad long ago already on Lost Ones. But what was a bar is he said, I never would have guessed that the day that we met would be our pinnacle. Like, we're only going downhill from the day that we met. Fuck, toxic ass relationship. Get yourself out of those relationships, kings and queens. You deserve better, I promise. Cool, you're flipping like reciprocals. You harp with every syllable. Shit, loving you is difficult, damn. I hope he treats you like you treated me. Sometimes I wish that you could see you from my POV. My friends and family told me that it's time for me to let it be. And karma's working whether you believe it or you don't believe it. Thank you. You're an angel with no wings. How'd you play all of those games and still you got no brains? You just chalked me up to being just one of your- You're an angel with no wings. How you play all those games and you still got no rings. She says she need a ring like Carmelo. That's Frank Ocean. And he says, sometimes I wish that you could see you from my point of view, from my POV. Because if you saw you from my point of view and the way that the rest of the world sees you, you would be like, damn, I'm a shitty person. All these bitches out here want that big ass wall size vanity mirror, but they don't want to look into it. You know what I'm saying? How'd you play all of those games and still you got no brains? You just shook me up to being just one of your old flings. Time to finally let it go and stop dwelling on old things. It's <laughs> no. Yo, this fucking beat, this hook is, yeah. This would be a vibe at EDC 2021 because EDC 2020 is just basically canceled. I mean, it's in October, but who wants to go when it's 115 degrees out? This would be a dope ad. Like if a, if a DJ brought this out mid set, like out of nowhere, this would, this would bang at EDC. Especially with that high pitched voice, which like EDM music has a lot in it. Ooh. Finally let it go and stop dwelling on old things. It's This production, bro, I'm like, I'm here for it. I'm there for it. I'm everywhere for it right now. Oh, hear those drums right there? Do, 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 do. That shit was fire. Okay, wait, I see you, boy. I see you. First thing, you definitely need to get a new fucking picture. This profile picture right here you have on YouTube, gotta go, son. You need something better than that already, like yesterday. But yeah, that song right there went in, son. I don't, if all these songs are gonna be the sound of like his upcoming project, if all these songs are gonna be on the upcoming project, I'm fucking about it. I like the energy. I like the confidence. I like the swagger. I like the bars. I like the production. I like what he's talking about. His song topics, bitch, we moving on. I'm letting you go. I'm cutting ties, metamorphosis into my next life, into the next chapter. Not even the next chapter. I'm going to a whole nother fucking book because I can't even, I can't even be associated with the book that you're a part of anymore. 
I'm about this, yo. Like 100%. This this track was fire from the very get go. Every track is doing its job of getting me hyped up for the album that's to come. But yo, that's the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing down below because this analytical, in-depth kind of breakdown commentary that I give of the song and production and what I feel, that shit happens every single video. That ain't nothing new around here. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are all down in the description below. Hit up the Discord. Discord also linked down in the description below. And that's all that I got for today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching these reactions and breakdowns. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.